Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland and a one a Wednesday. That's right, we've got a special thing for you. White wall edition. <laughs> we are we we got you something here that you have never seen before. All right, I bought this off of eBay. Uh, I think I got a pretty decent price on it uh, because it was kind of an oddball. And I've never seen anything like this before. Um, and so I did pick it up. Um, I, I might have been maybe $10. Uh, what caught my attention was these fabulous white walls that you wouldn't normally see on a Land Rover, right? <laughs> so what do we got here? BAM! It's a dinky toy. Yeah, dinky toys. It's the uh, 109 wheelbase Land Rover. And um, why I bring this out again, well, one one is it's uh, one of Wednesday, and this is the one and only I have of this, but we just talked about this old girl not too long ago. And um, when I was doing this video, uh, I was kind of trying to find uh, any more dinky toys that I had and um, I overlooked this one even with his fabulous wheels and uh, distinct uh, blue color and uh, here come to find out it's a dinky toy as well. So there we go. Alright so this is what dinky toys calls a number 344 and uh, now normally they come with this style wheel so right away um, <laughs> yeah just discount the wheels <laughs> all right so it is the basically the same uh, truck as this this one uh, as we talked in the other video and I'll, I'll try to tag the other video here this is uh, uh, the fire uh, appliance and that fits on top of this uh, truck here. But uh, they don't punch holes in it like the other one. They punched holes in it for the um, for the uh, bubbles. Now this is not really um, uh, what you would call <clears throat> the uh, normal stock um, roof. Uh, it's a bubble cab <laughs> so anyway but anyway uh let's take a look at it again series three um well do we want to look at the base again yeah they're kind of uh oddball and yeah i'm not really sure on these screws i i i haven't seen enough of these dinky toys to see if they're supposed to be um more um standard nicer screws than these that I find on them or not I don't know but this is the only two I have uh, one each of this um, so anyway so back to the front here uh, it does look like uh, there is some paint or whatever on the uh, front grill there it does uh, supposedly it's supposed to have a uh, front number plate F T R uh, for TH, I believe it is. Uh, the back has it a little bit, uh, seven, four, seven H that's, that's what it is. Uh, so we can get that in focus. You can kind of see, uh, the rear number plate is still there with this, uh, funky, uh, toe hitch, beautiful detailing and casting in here. Uh, really, uh, really nice. And you see why Corgi and, and, uh, everybody was, uh, going against these, uh, little company. I really like the, uh, corner windows that they were, uh, able to incorporate in their cab. It's really nice. It has opening doors. Now I'm missing my, my, uh, hooker on this right, <laughs> right hooker. Uh, my, my fire engine was, uh, missing, uh, uh, steering wheel too so I'm going to assume that that was kind of a def uh, design flaw there but it does have uh, an opening hood same engine as the fire engine the four cylinder very nicely detailed in there very nice it shuts very nice um, 
like I say, these doors, uh, the fit and finish isn't too bad. Uh, you know, I mean, these cars are what, uh, back in the 60s, you know, and, uh, you know, they've been beat on. You can tell, you know, we lost lost some paint and stuff like that. So it, it might be a little warped here and there. Um, it does have some, I don't know if we can pick it out, does have some interior or uh, uh, door panel uh, uh, details there, uh, but very, very nice. Uh, they, um, so mostly that it was blue. The 344, number 344 was blue. Uh, did have a white interior to it. Uh, this one was kind of uh, uh, worn out or whatnot. You can see the white remnants to it, but it, the, it's silver, but it, they were supposed to be white. Uh, didn't have a spare tire or anything like that. Um, I did see a variation now with the blue interior. Mine's a red. Uh, I did see a variation there. But uh, it's, you know, it's very hard to find information on these guys. And that and that's kind of one of the reasons why I started Roverland is I, I find these buggers and I, I can't find anything about it. You know, I've been, I've been collecting for over 25 years, uh, closer to 30 years. And uh, just now, just now with the uh, internet in 2020, uh, you know, we can really get a glimpse at some of this, but, but there's no real place where you can go and, you know, get details on uh, production runs and, you know, when this was come out. I don't, I don't know if this model came out before the, the fire uh, appliance. I, I, I don't have any clue. So, you know, I'm really I'm asking my fan base, you know, those diehard Land Rover guys out there, comment please below and uh, give me some insight on what's going on. You know, and you know what, it's not, it's, I don't, I'm not going to get offended if you correct me because I don't know. <laughs> All right. I want to know. That's, that's the thing. I'm going in there into this thing with, uh, uh, a good attitude and I want to know and you know what the others there's other people that want to know too because they have the same thing or something just like it and uh, they they want to know too and so if you guys know any information please let us know and you know I don't take offense to you guys uh, quote unquote correcting me or anything like that because I don't know and that's why I started this channel, Roverland, huh? All right, so there you go. That's a one-off Wednesday as I kind of got on my old soapbox there. Please let me know what you guys, uh, what ex actually what year uh, they put this out in. This is a 143rd scale. Um, you know, um, they came in a, a box, uh, you know, uh, not a shadow box. It didn't have a window. They came in a box, of course, bigger than a matchbox, but it came in a matchbox style box with no, no window or anything like that. Had the number uh, 344 on it, Dinky Toys. Uh, very, very nice. I, uh, I'm going to have to try to see if I can find uh, and keep my eyes open for other Dinky Toys that may not be Land Rover related but may have tires so I can maybe get this back to original. But, uh, I, tell you, <laughs> I tell you, this is, this is not too bad. Uh, you know, the seller really, you know, they, they didn't say that they, you know, it's kind of a custom. <laughs> and so I kind of, I mean, I, I don't feel bad because, uh, I mean, wheels are one thing, you know, it's still kind of originally attacked. Uh, I can uh, take these off and put the originals on there uh, if I find them. So it's, it's, I'm not, I didn't at all feel burnt or anything like that. It's kind of funny, uh, you know, kind of, these uh, nice chrome, America chrome hubcaps with some white walls on a Land Rover. I mean, <laughs> that's great. All right, well, there you go, folks. I tell you what, you guys got to come over to uh, Facebook uh, let me know what you guys think about this bugger. Uh, do you have any? Is there any other colors? I believe that these are the only two that they, they put out 
uh, different variations. Um, yeah, it, and if you know of any other dinky toys that have these wheels that maybe I could keep my eye open for and uh, be able to uh, scavenge some wheels off another dinky toy, that would be great too. But there you go, dinky toys, number 344 on a What Up Wednesday. Thank you for joining me. Facebook, Roverland. Instagram, Roverland Channel. And as always, remember... Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.